So again, it's paramount in AL amyloidosis to attain a deep hematological response. This is the only way we presently have to permit organ recovery and improve mortality in this condition. While daratumumab has really transformed the management of newly diagnosed disease, it isn't a complete cure for all patients and a number of patients will either respond suboptimally or later relapse after treatment with this agent. We know that chimeric antigen receptor T-cell therapy or CAR-T is a highly active modality in multiple myeloma where it produces very deep and durable remissions. And so whether this strategy can be safely and effectively adopted in AL amyloidosis, a population where patients will often have concomitant organ dysfunction is an important unanswered question. So to address this, we undertook a retrospective study of eight US academic medical centers who were a part of the US Multiple Myeloma Immunotherapy Consortium. We included patients who had a diagnosis of systemic AL amyloidosis who received BCMA targeted CAR T therapy. Um, all of these patients importantly had a concurrent diagnosis of multiple myeloma. Between 2021 and 2025, we identified 33 patients who were treated with CAR-T, nine patients received Idacel, 24 patients received Siltacel. The median age of our patients was 69 years. There was a predominance of the kappa light chain isotype, which I think reflects the fact that there was a myeloma flavor to a number of the patients involved. We also saw that all patients had um, a had a high plasma cell burden at diagnosis, 88% of individuals having more than 20% bone marrow plasma cells at their initial diagnosis. This cohort was extensively treated. The median number of prior lines was six and all patients had had prior CD38 exposure. In terms of organ involvement, we saw 30% of patients had cardiac involvement or again, 30% had renal involvement, a quarter had gastrointestinal involvement and around 12% had some form of nervous system involvement. Prior to um, CAR T therapy, we had incomplete staging information, uh, but we importantly did not have any known cases of stage 3B disease. In terms of cytokine release syndrome and safety, the rate of CRS of any grade was 64% we saw only two cases of grade three CRS, no cases of grade four CRS. In terms of ICANs, the overall rate of any grade was 15% and there were only two cases of grade three ICANs. The rates of CRS were slightly higher with Siltacel compared to Idacel as one might expect at 67% versus 56%. The median time to CRS also differed between the two agents at one day for Idacel, but six days for Siltacel. We did not see any cases of non-ICANS neurotoxicity, and we saw about 30% of individuals have an infection of any grade, but less than 10% of patients had a severe infection, grade three or higher. The overall response rate, according to AL amyloidosis criteria, was 91%. The vast majority of these were either very good or complete responses. There were 24 complete responses. Um, again, these were comparable between the two agents, although slightly higher with Siltacel, where the overall response rate was 96%, compared to Idacel, where the overall response rate was 78%. Um, in terms of deaths, there were five deaths, three which were related to the underlying disease, one related to an infection associated with uh, immune effect, uh, IECHS, um, and one which was unrelated. In terms of organ response, we had seven patients who were eligible for cardiac uh, organ assessment. Three of them obtained a cardiac response, and three patients were eligible for renal organ assessment of those two obtained a response. So I think this study shows that commercial BCMA targeted CAR T therapy induces deep rapid hematological responses in heavily pretreated patients with AL amyloidosis and concurrent multiple myeloma. This form of therapy was feasible to administer. 
the rates of CRS were acceptable and there were only isolated severe cases of CRS and ICANS. Nearly all of our patients obtained a deep hematological response and in the patients who were accessible for organ response, this appeared to translate into organ improvement. 